So I recently purchased a Dell Inspiron 15 touch laptop, but I already have two versions of Adobe Premiere Pro installed on these two desktops. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm going to show you guys how to install Adobe Premiere Pro onto a new computer. My status is that I have two versions already installed on my two existing computer and Adobe only allows you to have two accounts and using only one of the apps on the current time. All right, so here is Adobe's help page. It just says that uh, you can install your app on two or more computers, like I just mentioned. But you can only use the app on only one computer at a certain time. So you can't just share it, you know, with another person or, s or something like that. All right. So the first step is to um, sign into Adobe. And if you get this, um, if you try to, you know, install it on a new laptop, and you sign in all the versions, you're going to get this limit reached where it tells you that, you know, you've reached your two uh, apps on uh, two of the same account computers. So you have to uh, sign out and deactivate it. And this is how you would uh, deactivate your account. You would simply go to the app on the computer. Uninstalling won't remove it. So you have to sign into the account let's say your adobe premiere pro on the one you want to remove sign in um, and then you are going to need to uh, click on uh, deactivate right here under help help deactivate okay like i mentioned simply um, you can deactivate it suspending activation temporarily or permanently but for my case i'm going to uninstall it permanently or deactivate it permanently that way I can install it on my new laptop. Now, as it turns out, guys, um, so I'm using uh, Google, uh, what's this? This is um, Google Remote Desktop. It's a very useful tool. It's free, by the way. I'm logging to my Dell XPS 8300. And as it turns out, I'm still using the 2018 version. So that's already out of date. So if I try to see this older version, but let's see if I try to sign in. If this happens to be your scenario also. I can't even sign in. See, you need to install the latest updates. So for my scenario, because I, am, I already have an hour date and it's already logged out, I don't have to deactivate it. All right, I'm signing to my Adobe account on the laptop. Now I'm going to click download. See if it installs. Okay, I think it's finished downloading. Oh, there it is. It automatically opened it. Adobe Premiere Pro 2021. That's all the basic settings. Yeah, it seems to be working. Now I'm just going to play around with the settings to have it to the um, default that I want, which would be 4K video editing. Just to test that Adobe Premiere Pro is working fine, then we have no issues. I have this video right here, quick video. Now I'm just going to export it. It's a 4K video, so I'm going to say um, YouTube 4K. Okay, I'm just call it test. Spark. Seems to be working. Wow, that didn't take long at all, especially with the super fast AMD Ryzen 7 processor. Let's make sure that the video works. Confirm that. Where we review everything from eight. And there you have it. Hope it was, this tutorial was informational and useful and that's how you install Adobe Premiere Pro onto a new computer 
while you have existing two accounts, but you need to deactivate it on one. Take care of yourselves.